this video I'm going to show how I made this macrame bracelet that's been personalised and on this one I put BFF but you could put anything, you could put your name or you could put any word that appeals to you as long as it fits across the bracelet but I'm going to quickly show you how I made one of these. So to make this bracelet you're going to need your cords and I'm using two different colours here but you can use the same if you want. A ruler for measuring out, a lighter for sealing your ends scissors and of course the board and the clips to hold everything in place and as well as your usual materials you also want to get some lettered beads this is what you're going to add your personalization with so for me i'm just going to do a little heart with bff but you can put it as your name or a little word as long as it's going to fit around your wrist or whatever it is you're making but like i say for this one i'm doing bff So for the main cord that you're going to be working over this cord, you do want to make it one inch, um, sorry, one foot for every inch of the bracelet that you're making. Mine's already pretty much there anyway, so it doesn't need cutting. But for whatever you're making, just make sure that you have a foot for every inch and that's spread over both sides as well. So to get started, what I want to do is tie a loop in this cord, which is going to be the holding cord. And make sure you've got enough space for your tail ends to go in. And then you can attach your loop to one end of the board and then attach the tails to the other end of the board. And then you can take the cord that you're going to be working with and then match up the ends and then you can pull along to find the centre. Then you just want to do a simple square knot. And once you've done your first knot, you can push it up to the top where the knot is. And for this bracelet, I'm just doing square knots all the way down until I get to the point where I want to put the beads on. This will obviously vary depending on how long your name is or whatever the word is that you want to put onto your bracelet. So once you've done as many knots as you want for your first half of your bracelet, you can take these ends off the board and thread on your beads. Make sure you face them the right way around as well. Just give it a final check just when you put them on, just make sure everything's facing the same way and then you can attach your cords back to the board. So I'm going to push the first bead up and then I'm going to do a square knot around that. So this will hold this one in place. And then once you've done one square knot, just push your next bead up. And then you're just following the same pattern with the next ones. So once you've got all your beads on, you can then just continue doing your square knots down the other side. Now I counted that as 15, so I'm going to do another 15 down this side so that it'll be nice and equal. So 
So once you've got your bracelet as long as you want it to be, you can make sure everything's nice and tight and then remove it from the board. And now you just want to clip off the ends of the colour that you were braiding with. And I seal the ends here, but you can do it with a knot if you prefer. So once you've got your completed bracelet, you can trim these bits if you want. And then just seal the ends. This is just to stop you fraying. And then you can put your bracelet on. So that's how you make a personalised bracelet. So I hope this video was helpful to somebody and thank you for watching.